Hello and welcome. If you are wondering how I am doing, I am doing great. Thank you for wondering. In this tutorial, I will give you a basic introduction to the roof tool set. The intention is to get you familiar with the basic operations in this tool set to prepare yourself for the more advanced functions in the next tutorials. We will be looking at the following areas. Brief overview of icons. How to create a gable, mono pitched roof. Roof options for standard roof configuration. Ok let's get to it. To access the roof tool set, click on this icon from the main frame builder tool set. We will go through each icon from top to bottom. The first icon is used to draw a standard roof configuration. This can be a gable, mono pitch or a hip roof. The second icon is to change properties of a roof that's already been drawn. The third icon from the top is the advanced properties for a selected roof. This will include properties to change profile and clearances, spacing between diagonals and much more. The fourth icon in red allows you to delete a truss within a group. The next three icons in the shape of a gable, mono pitch and girder truss allows you to generate a single truss. This will be discussed in more detail in the next tutorials for the roof tool set. For now I can tell you this. You will use these functions to create your own custom roof configuration. The icon in blue allows you to change properties of a single truss outside or within a group. The next icon allows you to group trusses. The icon in the shape of a diamond allows you to generate guide points to help you design complex hip roof configurations. This will be covered in the next more advanced tutorials for the roof tool set. The next two icons allows you to draw purlins, battens or ladder frames for overhangs. The next two icons allows you to incorporate truss trace lines into your floor plan. This is also covered in FB version 4 tutorial 1.2 floor plan generation. Finally, the two gear or cog icons from the bottom is where you will set your default properties for this module. The letter A on the icon is your advanced properties. You can set properties such as, pitch, overhangs, truss spacing to mention a few. Wonderful! Let's move on and draw a standard roof. In this example we will draw a standard gable roof. We will make some changes to our roof by playing with some of the properties. Good. Great. Let's do it. Click on the first icon. You will be presented with a pop-up properties window. Select gable roof and click OK. Next you will be presented with another pop-up properties window for a gable roof configuration. I will go through some of the properties in a little bit. For now, click OK to proceed. I will now select the corners or footprint for my gable roof. Note, the orientation of your start and end position for the first two points your select determines the orientation of the trusses. Please pay attention when I demonstrate this. Great. Next, we will change some basic properties for the roof we just drew. Let's change the pitch and the overhang for this roof.
Now let's change the truss spacing. I am now going to change the web diagonal spacing for the trusses. Let's customize a single truss within this roof group. Note, we will be covering custom trusses in the next more advanced tutorials. That is it for this tutorial. I hope to see you soon. Please do me a solid and subscribe to this channel and tell all your friends about me. Every time somebody subscribes I feel that much more loved. Take care.